There's nothing that can ever you know, make up for what they've lost. Uh, and it's just closure is more what they're, they're, they're trying to get. The South City family is a step closer to that closure tonight. Two years after 17 year old Matthew Nikolai was killed on Chippewa outside Ted Drews. The driver responsible is now headed to prison, but some say the punishment feels like a slap on the wrist and they're frustrated. The road where this happened has hardly seen any safety measures. Our Shoshana Stahl joining us live now from South City. Shoshana, tell us how the family is reacting to this today. Yeah, Sam, it's been nearly two years since that teen was killed right here on Chippewa trying to cross the road over to Ted Drews. Now, the family wasn't available to talk to us on camera today, but saying that they are just so distraught by the fact that their son was taken from them far too soon, wanting everyone to know how deeply they loved their son. He's the nicest kid ever walked the face of the earth. A community remembering a life taken far too soon. 17-year-old Matthew Nikolai died in July of 2022 when a car hit him as he crossed the street by Ted Drews on Chippewa. Alderman Joe Vollmer isn't just a city leader, but a friend of Matthew's family. Always smiling, uh, inquisitive, just, you know, somebody you couldn't wait to, you know, to see. Friday, 27-year-old Jacob Adler pleaded guilty to hitting Matthew and leaving the scene. Investigators say days later, Adler took his Ford truck to a body shop to have the damage repaired from the accident. He later turned himself in. Is it justice? There's, there's nothing that can ever you know, make up for what they've lost. According to the plea deal, Adler has a mandatory 120 days of shock time in prison. The Department of Corrections will then send a behavior report to the court. It will recommend if Adler should be released on probation or serve the rest of the five years of his prison sentence. It's so depressing that this would have to occur and it, for, for no other reason than someone was being stupid. Nearly two years later, road improvements to slow reckless drivers on Chippewa still not there. But some who go to Ted Drews are making a shift after the accident. We'll make sure we get a spot in the parking lot right next to Ted Drews or usually my husband's driving and he'll drop us off here if we come at a busier time. First Alert 4 reported in February there were plans to add a bump out and raise the curb in front of Ted Drews, eventually adding a traffic signal in the middle of Chippewa. But that hasn't happened yet. Yeah, well, the city has done its part at this point. We have uh, found all of the money. We have done the preliminary designs. At this point, it rests with the business to decide if it's going to work for their overall business plan. And looking there behind you, Shoshana, you can tell that is certainly a hot spot, especially this time of year. You mentioned we're now two years removed from this accident. Have we asked Ted Drews at all about working with the city in order to make those traffic calming plans a reality? Yes, yeah, Sam, it definitely is a hot spot. And even since we've been out here, we've seen people running across the road to get over to Ted Drews using this bank parking lot for overflow. We did ask the owner of Ted Drews about that. He said he does intend to move forward with the plans with the city to input a crosswalk right here. He said he plans to meet with them in the coming weeks. Hopefully we'll have an update on that soon. But right now, like you said, no crosswalk here. People continuing to just run out into the road. Obviously something extremely dangerous nearly two years after that teen was killed. Live in South City, Shoshana Stahl, First Alert 4. Shoshana, thank you.